podcast that we're throwing in the summer party if you want to show up. You can. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, Aiden, but I have to get back. School's going to be starting up. Oh, yeah, that's right. I totally forgot. You go to some kind of ritzy private school. Must be nice. Yes, no. It's all right. It's different. But I did enjoy my time working here. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed your time being here, too. I hope we can still see each other. I'm really sorry, Aiden, but I have someone back at school. So I guess this is it for a little while. You're going to be heading back to your school. Yeah, well, definitely am, but that doesn't mean we can't see each other. Oh, I definitely like the sound of that. You, Gwen, are definitely not like any other girl I've ever met. And you are definitely not like any other boy I've ever met. So, I really wish that you could come to my school, or I could go to yours, but it's not possible. Yeah, so you've told me this whole summer. You'll have to explain that. Someday I just might. Listen, you know what we must do. We have to get them back. We cannot lose them. Come on now, Nimue. You know I will never lose him. He belongs with me. He's never going to leave me. Yes, Maud, you think you're the best, but I lost Morgan to a mortal. You'd better watch yours. Please, MJ would never fall for a mortal. They'd have to be extraordinary, and there's no one out there like that. Yes, but I heard a rumor that Arthur has a descendant. If he were to find MJ, you'd be in trouble. Yes, well, you both know why I called you here. I need you to keep an eye on MJ. It's important. I don't you worry about that. We'll keep him far away from Mard. Yes, we definitely don't want him with him. That's why we gave him that summer job. Yes, and I definitely appreciate that. You're absolutely sure that this Aiden is Arthur's descendant. Yes, he has the aura around him. He is definitely a descendant of Arthur. Don't you worry, Merlin. The prophecy will be fulfilled. It has to be, or the entire world is doomed. Yes, but I didn't want either of you to disappoint me. They need to get back with Nimue and Maud immediately. Yes, Morgana, we totally understand that. It's a prophecy thing. We got it. Yeah, besides, I'm pretty sure MJ's still in love with Maud. This Arthur character's not going to change that. Never underestimate the power of Arthur's descendant. He has magic, just not aware of it. Yeah, well, don't you worry. We're going to do what we can. We'll keep him away from him. Yeah, because darkness has to rule the world. Yes, well, definitely Morgana is going to need our help, so we must be prepared. Yeah, we definitely got to make sure that MJ and Maud stay together. I do not really see a problem with that. It is Morgan that we must get back with Nimue. Yeah, well, that part's going to be harder because I really think he's fallen for this Gwen girl. Well, of course he has. She is a descendant of Gwen. Yeah, we definitely get our work cut out for us to see you, don't we? Yes, we do, and we cannot fail Morgana. And we cannot let Merlin know what we are up to. Yeah, well, it's definitely the first day of school coming up. Boring. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be that, but got no choice. Gotta finish up. We wanna get out of this town. Oh, you trust me, I am definitely getting out of this town. One way or another. Hey, well, I look forward to another boring year. This place is a dump. You got that right. I don't know why anybody wants to live here. And that creepy school. Eh. Oh, yeah, I definitely heard some rumors about that school. It's supposed to be haunted and shit. Yeah, well, a couple of us are gonna go check out that spooky school. Before school starts. You in? Yeah, I see Rachel, I don't know about that. That place gives me the creeps. Come on, all the more reason to scope it out. We should check it out. I was kinda hoping that we'd go see a movie. And maybe some dinner, instead of that. Are oh, you taking me on a date, Elijah? Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, Rachel, I'm definitely taking you on a date. Besides, my dad told me that place was creepy, and to stay away from it. So we should. Well, it's the last couple of days of summer, so what are we gonna do? Hell, I don't know, a couple of the guys are gonna go check out the spooky old school up the road. Oh yeah, because that really sounds like fun. I don't know about that. And that Penny, I'm sure there's plenty of stuff we can figure out to do here, if you want. We definitely can't hang out here, my parents are gonna be back soon. What about your place? Hey, sure, I think we can do that. My parents are gonna be out eating dinner late, so should be good. Alright then, Bryce, I guess it's a date. So, MJ, are you going to tell me how your last day went? Did you talk to Aiden? Yes, we talked, of course we talk. We talk every day at work. Come on, yeah, that's not what I mean. I mean, did you ask him out or did he ask you out? I'm sorry, but I'm still with Maud. I'm not going to cheat on him. Are you serious right now, MJ? Don't you remember what Grandfather said about this? Yes, Morgan, I know exactly what he said, but I can't stop my feelings. I love Maud. Aiden's okay, but not interested. 
Okay, I was gonna hate this. So, Morgan, are you ready for another year? I want you to stay at your place. You're not staying here. Oh, come on, must we play these games all the time? We need to be together on this. Morgana, you know we can never be together on this. We want different things for the boys. You just don't want them to embrace their darkness. No, as a matter of fact, I do not. Well, I am sorry, my love, but that is too bad. They are half my grandsons. They're going to have darkness. Yes, I definitely know that, Morgana. But they do have light. I'm really sorry, guys. I tried, but he's hung up on his axe. Well, you definitely need to try harder because that boy is hot. You cannot let him get away. All right, damn, Olivia. Tell us how you really feel. Look, if he's not into you, he's not into you. Yeah, well, that's just it. I really think he is into me, but he doesn't want to admit it. There's a connection between us. Yeah, well, did you try telling him that? Maybe it would have worked and he would have stayed. Yeah, well, I'm afraid on that he really doesn't get a choice. His grandparents want him back at the school. Yeah, well, you know, if you really didn't want to stay here, you can go. You don't owe me anything, Nina. Yeah, well, everybody was just going to that creepy school and I didn't feel like going. Besides, I like you. Oh, did you just say that you like me? I bet that was kind of hard to say. Alright, Lance, you should probably stop talking because you're ruining it. Come on now, Nina, I know you always try to act like a badass, but you're not. You're really nice. Yeah, well, if you ever say I'm nice at school in front of anyone, I will beat the shit out of you. Duly noted. Hey, well, we could tell. Morty's definitely got nothing to worry about. Those two really didn't talk to each other all summer. Yeah, you definitely got that right, but they did have some chemistry, I could see it. Really? What the hell would you know about chemistry? Alright, come on now, I told you not to be jealous. There was nothing going on with me and that guy. Yeah, I knew that because nobody else would have you. Now let's hurry up and get back to the school. Yeah, well I'd definitely be glad when we don't gotta visit this mortal realm anymore. It's boring. I don't know why anybody comes here. Yeah, well it's time to go back to the school. And we're gonna have to deal with Morgana and Merlin. Hey, and they definitely ain't gonna take too kindly to us leaving. Yeah, well it's their fault. They gave us permission to go to the mortal realm for a little while. It's not our fault we like it. Yeah, we definitely don't let Merlin hear you saying that. Or Morgana. We'll definitely be locked up at school next time. Yeah, well, never mind about that. What do you think about MJ and Mard? You think they're gonna get back together? Are you kidding me? Their love is epic. I don't think they're ever gonna break it. So, are you definitely ready for another year? Yeah, actually I am. Kinda looking forward to it. Gonna learn some more magic. Yo, yeah, well, just as long as you don't think about dating anyone else. You know you belong with me. Okay, Edwin, we talked about this. I'm not playing this game with you. Come on now, Damien, I am not playing any games. I am in love with you. How do you feel about me? Come on now, Edwin, don't throw the love word at me. We're just kids. I'm not ready for that. Can we just be boyfriend and boyfriend for now? Alright, gentlemen, I have a mission for you. You need to keep Maud away from my grandson. Yeah, Marlo, well, we'll do our best, but there's no way you're keeping them two apart. Yeah, I totally have to agree with Gavin. I mean, there's no way you're going to keep them apart. I'm sorry, Merlin. Alright, let me make myself clear, gentlemen. The fate of the entire world depends on this. Yeah, well, we definitely know that, but there's no stopping true love either. Yeah, and I am totally sorry, Merlin, but those two, that's true love. Oh, crap, how come Morgana always sends us on the crap jobs? What the hell are we looking for anyway? Yeah, well, I got no clue, so I guess she said we'll know it when we see it. Yeah, well, she's definitely on edge about this whole prophecy thing. She doesn't want to lose her grandsons. Well, come on now, Justin, I mean, can you blame her? I mean, if the prophecy's true, they're going to be nothing but light. To be honest, I never thought them two had darkness in them, so I'm pretty sure they are going to be light. We better hope not. Come on now, Morgan, you know we belong together. You need to forget about that other girl. Nemo, I really am sorry that I'm hurting your feelings, but I am in love with Gwen. Come now, Morgan, be serious. She's immortal. It can never work. Nemo, I'm just never going to feel that way about you, alright? I'm sorry. So you really think that you belong with this mortal? I will never allow that to happen, Morgan. You know that. Nemo, are you seriously threatening Gwen? If you go anywhere near her, I will end you. And I'm serious. Maud, you're really here. I didn't think my grandfather would let you back in. Yeah, well, lucky for me, your grandmother loves me. I missed you. How have you been? Uh, I've been alright. I was working in the mortal realm for the summer. What were you doing? I don't know, do you really want to know what I was doing? Because it was probably no good. I'm always up to dark magic. I know that you have dark magic, but I know that there is a light inside you. That's why I love you. 
And I love you, MJ. You are my light.